Hey guys, Crewman here, and I think it's time to start back up GPU Market Watch. It's been almost seven months since I filmed the last episode, and I think the market stagnation is finally coming to an end, with the US election coming to a conclusion soon, the holiday season starting to ramp up, it's almost Thanksgiving, it's almost Halloween after all, and interest, more interest rate cuts coming. I think you're going to see a surge in GPU purchases, and now is the perfect time to start it back up. So let's get to it after a word from our sponsor. This video was brought to you by Crypto Miner Bros, your one-stop shop for all your home ASIC mining needs. Their prices listed are shipped to your door so you don't have to worry about any hidden or unexpected fees. What is listed is all you have to pay and make sure you use code CRUITMAN with two zeros for $70 off your next order. My most recommended miner right now would be the Jazz Miner X16Q. I love mine. And I've had it for almost a year now and it is still profitable. I prefer recommending ETH has ASICs because there are tons of mineable coins on them. So they tend to stay profitable longer than other algo specific ASIC miners. So thank you again to Crypto Miner Bros for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to use Crewman with two zeros for $70 off your next order. So thank you to our sponsor. All right, now let's go over the GPU market watch rules for anybody who has not watched one of these before. So used market prices are based on eBay sold listings. eBay is the great unifier. I know people can find better deals usually on Facebook Marketplace or maybe Jawa.gg or maybe other sites, but everybody has access to eBay. And if we're being realistic, everybody bases their prices on eBay, where most sites and most sellers use to set the prices, even if they list them on Marketplace, Reddit, etc. Sales are only based on working GPUs, Broken, broken and four parts GPUs are not included, nor are crazy high outliers where you see a GPU sold for like three or 400 more than what the market says because those were most likely canceled by the seller. New prices are based on trusted links only uh, like Best Buy or Amazon's own store. I will never include third party sellers as you don't know what you're getting and those cannot be ver verified. Finally, I will only go in depth on a few GPUs uh, you can always refer to the chart if you don't see ones that interest you. There's always going to be one or two models that I spend more time on as I find where their place in the market is a lot more interesting than others. It's just the way things go. And if you have any questions about a GPU that I kind of skim over, feel free to ask me in the comments. Okay, next we're going to talk about the changes that we're making to season two, we're going to call it, of GPU Market Watch. So we're going to split these videos into two parts, one for gaming and one for mining, as there's just too much going on on these videos and mining and gaming markets are very different. The prices might be the same, but how you go about buying GPUs and the prices that you're willing to pay as a miner and gamer are definitely not the same. And if I were to do them in the same video, you'd get like a 45 minute long video. And I don't think anybody's trying to watch that. Second, we're updating the crude buy metric. These are all based on the price that I would buy them at, which is not the same thing as market price. But if you notice, we have four settings. We've got no, maybe, yes, and must buy. And the closer we get to the must buy, you will notice that the crude price is close, is inching up closer to the market price. And at must buy, they're basically the same. So no means I would not buy these unless the price was dumb, AKA 40 to 50% less than market value unrealistic price to expect to find these gpus at the age-old saying there are no bad gpus just bad prices applies to gpus that are under the no column maybe is depending on your situation they could be solid i wouldn't recommend them mostly because there's a better option available that doesn't mean they're automatically no buys for you it really just situation dependent and i am also no longer buying these gpus Yes is for most people, these make sense to buy and I have bought these at or close to these prices, but I am not buying them anymore. I've moved on and I've moved on to different things, but that doesn't mean you should move on as well. Must buy is exactly that it means that I am buying these GPUs at the market price as of filming. All right, guys. So with that out of the way, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Let's get to what you've all been waiting for and my market watch chart for this episode and i also do want to state that in this episode i am only covering nvidia gpus as amd gpus have kind of gotten their butts kicked on the mining front now that doesn't mean that will change in the future but right now i am just focusing on nvidia all right let's get started 
First thing I want to go over is the don't buy the following for mining. The 10 series, the 16 series, the 20 series, and the 4060 Ti 16 gig. Don't buy these for mining, guys. They're past their prime. Time to move on. As far as consumer GPUs, it's only 30 series and 40 series right now. So let's get started with the 30 series. The 3060 is a hard no. The 3060 Ti, if we look at the current market price, it's about $216. The price I would pay is about $180, which puts it in the firm maybe category. I would suspect that you might be able to find them close to that. While I think the 3070 is a better option right now, especially considering that their prices are not too far off, I definitely think that if you can get it for the crude price, you could justify buying 3060 Ti's right now. The 3070, now that's an interesting one. The volume on eBay is through the roof, which means there are a lot of people buying 3070s right now. And personally, I've been selling a lot of 3070s. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I've slowly been raising my prices over the past two weeks and they have been selling. So I can note that even though I don't have any price trends here, based on my own experience, I can tell you that the price of the 3070 is slowly going up. Uh, the current market price is about $275. The price I'd pay is about $200. Now I know there's a far price gap there, but I think... Even at like 250 to 260 bucks, you could justify buying these because I definitely think as a miner, even in six to eight months, there's probably a good chance you can sell them for what you paid. And that's an important aspect to consider when buying these. So they're a firm yes for me. And I think they're worth considering. Now, you know, I would definitely try to get them south of 275. And while the price is moving up, it's not going through the roof like we're talking maybe like 10 bucks or so each week which isn't a deal breaker in my opinion now let's move on to the 3070 ti uh the market price is about 316 dollars the price that i would pay is about 220 and i would definitely not go any higher than that only because they're just at least they're just a less efficient 3070 and 3070s can be had plenty now uh, unless a memory algorithm really kicks into high gear, which maybe it could happen, I would probably still recommend the 3070, which leaves the 3070 Ti in the maybe category. Now, the 3080 to 3090 Ti are all strictly no's. The 3080 and the 3080 Ti are just not good miners anymore, but the gamers have them. The 3090 and the 3090 Ti are getting scooped up by AI users still. 3090's price has fallen a little bit, but they're still very inefficient and they're pretty power hungry. So I would stay away from everything from a 3080 to a 3090 Ti. Now let's move on to the 40 series. Now the 4060 is and always has been a firm no. I would just stay stay away from it. So the 4060 Ti, you can get them for about $370 new on Amazon. Their market price has definitely dropped in the last year. I only know this because I bought a bunch of them around... You know, I, I probably paid between 360, 340 to 360. You know, I didn't I didn't sell mine. I actually traded them in because I didn't think I could get as good of a value as I would have liked for them. And it ended up working out because I traded them for a CMP 100 to 210s. I don't think I would buy these things. I mean, they're good on a Leo. A Leo kind of changed things for them. They were definitely a solid no buy before. A Leo makes them a maybe. If you can get them for like 280 bucks, I would consider it. I would definitely not pay any more than $300 for them, which leaves them firmly in the maybe category. The 4070, while it's not a bad GPU, and if you can get them at about $400, they're worth considering. For me, it's a firm no right now, because if you compare them to say the 4070 Ti and the 4070 Super, which are yes and must buys respectively. I just don't think they're worth buying. Now the 4070 Ti is definitely a must buy as you can you can snag these on eBay all day long for about 560 to 570. I think they're very dense and I think they give you a great option for a Leo. They're solid for memory algorithms and they absolutely crush it for core. And in more importantly, I honestly feel like about a five I honestly feel like they'll settle at about $500 when everything is said and done in a few months, and which is why I have them as a must buy. The 4070 Super is a maybe. I think if you can get it around, I don't know, like 500, 550 to 540, I would get it. The only reason it's not a must buy is because the 4070 Ti is a little bit better and it costs basically the same. 
The 4070 Ti Super and the 4080 are both maybes, depending if you can get them for, you know, under, for around the crew buy price. It kind of makes them a maybe uh, because of like the 4080 has AI uh, workload uses, but I would definitely not buy them at the current market where they're at. The 49, the 4080 Super is a no, and the 4090 is a funny one because a year ago, I was wrong in telling you that it was a bad buy. But now, I definitely think it's a bad buy, as I think the only reason the 4090 is holding its price is because we have no idea what Blackwell is going to cost. I think Blackwell, if the price is anywhere near what a 4090 will MSRP is at, like anywhere from 16 to 1800 I think it's going to kill the price of the 4090. You're going to see the 4090 drop in price, maybe. Now that's just, that's a maybe. Right now they're super popular for AI rentals. And if you notice on eBay, there's a lot more buyers sell it, listing them for sale than there is being sold, which means buyers want a lot of money for the, or which means sellers want a lot of money for their 4090s and buyers don't want to pay it. And neither one of them are budging because everybody wants to see what happens with Blackwell. If Blackwell costs $2,500, then all of a sudden these 4090s are going to be a great buy. So if you were to buy them right now for like 14, 1500 bucks, you're, you're basically betting that the price of Blackwell is going to be really high. Now, we won't know until January when they release for CES, but honestly, I wouldn't be gambling on this, and that's why the 4090 is a no-buy for me. Now, moving on to NVIDIA mining-specific cards, the 100-210 currently is $170 on eBay, and again, I'll have all links down below on recommended cards that I think you should buy, so if you want to buy them on those links, I'll have them right there. It's a maybe. I liked them more at 140. Obviously, there's a lot of hype on these things, and I don't think they'll ever come back to that price. Now, I have 48 of them, and I think they're a great GPU, but I won't be buying any more of them. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't buy them. I think at 160, which I think you can get if you buy them in bulks of like 10, I think it's okay. Uh, I think it really just depends on your situation. I do think the resale value of these definitely won't be as good as like, say, a 3070. So while a 3070 is going to cost you more, it's going to hold its value more. But if you're planning on going crazy mining and you do really well on these things and you sell them in a year for half their value or three quarters of their value and you don't care or even two years, then it was worth it. I certainly don't expect to get 150 for all my 100 210s, but I really don't care because I plan on mining them into the ground. The 30, 50 and 70 HX, I don't have enough info on. I'm hopefully going to get some people to send me some of them so I can do some tests. I'm just letting you know what the current market is on those. The 90HX, I have one. I paid 150 for it like a year ago. I honestly think I would sell it if I didn't need one to test with, but I certainly wouldn't buy them now at the prices that they're listed for on Alibaba and eBay. Now the 170HX. That one is one of two must buys for me. I think the Alibaba price, which comes out to honestly not too far off from eBay after shipping and all of the... And you know, all the fees, you end up close to about 500 bucks, but I honestly think it's a must buy. The full Blackwell die, to give you an example, the guesstimate is it's going to do about 190 mega hash on ETC. The 170HX does 200 mega hash on ETC. And right now at 500 bucks, you could theoretically get four of them for the price of a 5090 if you think a 5090 is going to cost $2,000. Do I think the price of the 170HX will go any lower? I absolutely don't. I think that it's going to go up. How much is it going to go up? I don't know. It really just depends if core algorithms or memory algorithms take off. Now, you got to remember the last two core algorithms we've had that didn't suck were Pyram, which rugged, which that's not to say that you won't see something else pop up on Pyram hash version two, but Pyram still rugged. But Aleo is going strong, and I'm going to do some more 170HX testing on Aleo in a future video. It seems solid, but again, at a price of almost either three to one or four to one, it's hard to say that you're going to be making a mistake buying the 170 HXs. Now you have to be able to cool them, of course, but that's really the only card that I'm buying right now. And for me, it is an absolute must buy. So that's it for this video. I hope it helped and I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan on, like I said, I plan on doing these probably once a month and then maybe if like an important event that shakes up the market, like maybe like a, a, the second interest rate cut of a month, if that happens or the release of a new GPU, or if I just notice that the market is going crazy, I will update it, but expect this once a month. 
up through, I would probably say, Blackwell's release. And then maybe we'll slow it down after that as the market usually tends to calm down, usually like January, or like February, March, April. Maybe it doesn't because of Blackwell's release. Who knows? But that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Thank you to our sponsor. Please like and subscribe. Please follow me for more of these videos. And I really hope they help. If you guys find any really good deals or you think there's something I'm missing, please let me know in the comments. Peace.